Um, it's been really a long time since I put a video up. Sorry for that. <laughs> um, I have some downtime, downtime right now because I've gone running with a friend and then his leg cramped up and so we've got to walk back home and I've got two kilometers. So uh, we've got time to chat as so I thought I'd interview him. So, hey man, what's up? What's up? Uh, who are you My and stuff? Danny, uh, Danny Gong, I'm a New Yorker and now living in Osaka. I started uh, Deaf Japan. What's that? That is a sign language school in Kansai and we teach American Sign Language and Japanese Sign Language. Um, so, uh, I heard about Jamie um, through a friend and he was interested in uh, sign language after we started using sign language for uh, nefarious reasons. <laughs> Yeah. And then uh, he shortly, like quickly soon after, left uh, Kansai and was like, well, where the heck did you go? <laughs> he came back and said, I was volunteering. I'm like, holy crap, that's awesome. And ever since then, uh, Jamie's been here and we've come up three times this year uh, to help out with his organization and volunteer. So it's really great. Um, we do a lot of, I've, it was my first time to ever volunteer in my adult life, uh, the January 1st with uh, It's Not Just Mud, and it was a really great, awesome experience. Like, it, of course, volunteering is, is nice, and you feel good for helping people out. Then you get to meet the locals, which is nice. And But the best thing about volunteering is, is meeting other volunteers. Why so, is that? Yeah. Because I had never been in... One second, car. <laughs> That's a big car. Okay, truck. <laughs> and another car. So I had never been in a room or in a situation where I was with a bunch of other open-hearted people and people who just um, were altruistic and wanted to give and help. So being with a group of like-minded people, that was something really refreshing. And Another car. I saw... <laughs> Run, Danny! Oh, it's not going on anyway. It made me have faith in humanity. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, it's really great. And, you know, when I came, we were teaching sign language and we had a deaf person with us, two deaf people with us. That was the first time? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's, that's Sherry, Sherry, right? Yeah. And uh, Atsuko. Mm -hmm. And within a day, no, within hours, within one hour, mm -hmm. we were teaching everybody some sign language and, and everyone was picking up. So they were like, oh, good, <laughs> thank you, uh, you know, hi, nice to meet you. Um, I, I think everyone knows hi. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> and then, uh, no, it was really great. It was so awesome to see uh, people who had never seen sign language, mm -hmm. never used sign language, talk with, with a deaf person. Mm -hmm. And the communication was flowing. Um, did, you, did you do anything else um, up here that time with uh, sign language related thing? Yeah, we met uh, the deaf local people here. Uh -huh. And we wanted to talk to them about their experiences and, and find out what they went through with the, the whole earthquake and tsunami. Mm -hmm. And just a way for them to kind of express themselves mm -hmm. to people outside of the, the area mm -hmm. and share their story with everybody and that's what we did. Um, what, what, what's the value? What, why is there a need for you to do that um, with the deaf community here? Because the deaf community here, are, they're pretty much isolated. Why? Um, because the sad fact is that not many people do know sign language. Mm. And, uh, and so it, it is Unless deaf people make an effort to meet in a group, they are pretty much isolated at their homes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm pretty sure they, even if they live with their family, how many family members know sign language? So their friends become the community, and mm -hmm. their friends become the, the backbone of their, their world mm -hmm. for communication. And that's why I think uh, it's really important that if, if you do have an interest in sign language, and it's not hard, it's really easy, uh, that you go meet these deaf people mm -hmm. and and just smile, even if you don't know sign language. Smile, mm -hmm. do some gestures, yeah. and you'll be able to communicate well, with them. Something I noticed um, is that uh, a lot of deaf people I met, especially when I first started learning sign language, uh, although I couldn't sign well, they were really happy just to to talk or to sign with me, even though I was clearly <laughs> terrible. <laughs> you were just like, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whereas, like, you know, if it's like learning like French, if I try to speak French to someone and they can't speak French, they'll be like, <laughs> they'll, they give, yeah, yeah. If you go to any other country or any, or use any other like spoken language, mm -hmm. once people can't, they realize you don't speak their language, they just give up automatically. Yeah. Whereas deaf people, 
They really try. Mm -hmm. Well, why do you think that is? Is that because there's... Their whole life is trying to communicate with hearing people. Mm -hmm. Their whole life is trying to communicate with people who don't know sign language. Mm -hmm. That is why. And they have coped with it. And they, they do realize that some people do get it. That's mm -hmm. the thing. That's the beauty of Thing, beautiful thing about sign language. If you don't know sign language, but you, you, if you're not listening with your ears, but listening with your eyes, you will get it. Because it's, it's all gesture, it's all visual, and it's visual communication. So, I mean, even babies understand sign language. I was, uh, I was in a a baby. School, <laughs> no, yeah. And um, I was teaching this class of five-year-olds. I was like, okay, everybody, okay, what's this? And they were like. Piano! I was like, yeah, okay, so what about a computer? They're like, uh... I was like, yeah, that's right, a little screen with a computer. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, what about... What about... And then uh, the other teacher, the teacher was like, well, how do you, how do you sign typewriter? And I was like, good question. Okay, kids, how do we sign typewriter? And they're like... I was like, these kids have never seen a typewriter. Yeah, I was like, how do you know what typewriter is? They just got it. They got it. It was awesome. Uh, so, yeah, it was, it's fantastic. Mm. Um, but, yeah, I, I really hope that, you know, everybody uh, would still come up when they have free time because there are, uh, I've seen a huge decrease in volunteerism mm -hmm. in uh, Ishinomaki and just in Tohoku mm -hmm. in general. So, yeah, guys, come up. Come see Jamie. Yeah. So you have to stay at the uh, INJM mansion. <laughs> One is being rebuilt, so it's gonna be. No, dude, it's not that bad. Like, no, it's, it's, the walls it's are pretty beautiful. nice. Yeah, it's done a good job. It's definitely beautiful, and it's and it's not January. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> actually, yeah. This this is a little well. messy, yeah. So like a lot of people, and this kind of was kind of bugged me, is that so many people, um, when it came like around winter, they're like, oh, you know, I want, I'll come when it's like you know summer, when it's warm. Like it's too extreme now. It's like, what? You know, this is this is the temperature people live in. Right, like, and our house is warmer than like a lot of people's homes. Right, right. And it's not like Alaska freezing or like Antarctica no, freezing. No, no, yeah. no. So kind of, like you know, I don't know. Some people are like, oh, you know, I'm not, I'm not able-bodied. I'm not strong enough. And like you know, I don't want to be rude, but like you know, so these are kind of people, like deaf people are considered. Is that a handicap? Is that a, I mean, a communication? Yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. So yeah, people consider like deaf people maybe like not below hearing people, but like you know, oh, you know, that kind of oh, poor them. But these guys are like you know, they're fine. Like yeah. those guys like. One guy's like so strong, is that the wrestler? Oh, yeah, like yeah, a, yeah. The deaf wrestler came up and that guy's like, it was hench. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was in March. Yeah. The second time when we came up, yeah. yeah and like, 14 deaf people came up with us, yeah. <laughs> and this crazy. is fine. Yeah. But I mean, I, I think it's such a good example because um, people are like, oh, you know, I don't know if I, what I can do or, you know, uh, and uh, you know, really anyone can as long as, you know, you can, you're reasonably able-bodied, right. you, you know, you can move your arms and legs and whatnot. But even if you, if you are like physically, uh, uh, disabled. No, no, yeah, actually there is a lot of... There's still a lot of things you can do. Right? Yeah, and I mean... There's a lot of communication that can be done, translation, you know, people who know English and Japanese, there's definitely a need for that, right? Yes, please. Gym, right? Because you need translators for, yeah. for the website and everything. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, no, it'd be really great. So, you can do it. Come. Yeah, give, give me a sign. Just one more sign to teach. Uh, one more sign? Yeah, okay. to teach our... Uh, Tens okay. of viewers. Okay, okay. So, Japanese sign language? I'll stop. Ah, uh, yeah, Japanese sign language. Okay. Volunteer. Yeah, got Volunteer. Volunteer. So, why is it? Because you have people willingly walking to something. So, volunteer. And American sign language? Volunteer. Ah. You are picking yourself. Ah, volunteer. it's kind of similar. So, yeah, it, it, in either sign language, it makes sense. It's nice. Uh, let me, any, any requests for a funny sign? Or? A funny sign? Uh, uh, no, funny sign. What, what, do you know what's Ishinomaki? Ishinomaki. Ishinomaki. Why? Because this is uh, stone. Yeah. Like Ishi. It's a stone and stone. Right? Yeah. And then maki for rolling. Ah, uh, Ishinomaki. Ishinomaki. Yeah, it's a rock and roll city. <laughs> it's a rock and roll city, yeah, uh, exactly. Thanks a lot, Danny. <laughs> no problem. Cheers.